Adventure comes in many forms, and as I said, this channel is going to be about living life and adventures. So today, the adventure that we are going to start is one that I had started some time back. Um, we are going to dig into leatherworking. We're going to get better at it together. Uh, for those of you that are watching, this is a novice to, I guess, wherever we get to type of type of series. Uh, we're going to pick up where I left off. I uh, probably forgot most of the stuff that I did do here so far. Um, we got some leather working tools that we're going to cover in this video. Uh, some basic necessities and we are going to kind of show some of the things that I've created so far. Um, and basically at this point we're going to be starting over from scratch because I haven't done anything over here in this space in this little corner of my house for actually since we've lived here. Uh, I've set everything up, but I've actually not done anything, so let's get into it. Alright everybody, we're sitting down chilling. Let's talk about some of the things that you can make with leather working and what I've made so far. Um, so, i got some leather moccasins that we made. Um, these are kit moccasins. These aren't the, um, these aren't like handmade from scratch. These are kits. We'll talk about kits in a little while because um, that's how we're going to start off. We're going to start off with some kits and then we're going to get into, um, in some future videos, we're going to get into where we finally actually get enough confidence and enough skill that we can just start ripping out stuff from scratch. Um, my personal favorite to this point has been wind catchers or dream catchers, sorry. So we got these here, um, these I made. Um, this one, this is the first one I made, this is a smaller one. You can tell like in the stitching that I messed up on this one, whereas this one started to come out a little bit better. Um, I've made some since then that have come out way better than these have. Um, they're one of my favorite things to do, really relaxing stitching. I totally recommend if you're, talk, if you're thinking about getting into this to start off with something like that. Um, a very crudely created little leather bowl. Uh, keychains so um, this one was actually a kit keychain that I did up and then this one here is just a, a cut of leather done up um, actually not even finished yet it's a little jagged got some work to do on it and then different kinds of billfold so this one I did this was actually a from scratch billfold um, using a template we'll talk about templates when we get to the tools section um, these this was handmade too out of a temp uh, out of a template um, as was this one and this one these are actually made out of different kinds of cuts of leather random cuts of leather they weren't done um, specifically with what you should be using to do that just kind of practice uh, we did a cigarette pouch that I did a little bit too tight as you can see you got to kind of really cram that fucker in there to get it. But, you know, it's not about being perfect, it's about learning something, about learning a skill and getting better at it. And then, um, one of the things that you do quite a bit is just random, uh, random cuts, trying things out. So stamping is a huge part of it. Um, you can see there's stamps on that. Um, stitching. So, we had some stitching right here. Come on, you mean doesn't want to look at it, wants to look at me. But anyways, you get the point. So there's tons of stuff that you can do with leather working. Um, you, anywhere from making cosplay gear, to, uh, making wallets, fern, uh, purses, uh, different kinds of stuff like that, suede bags. Um, sky's the limit as long as there's leather involved. Alright, so let's talk about tools. Um, I have some leather working tools. I definitely don't have everything that I should have, but I have quite a bit. Um, this may look like a little bit overwhelming at first, but let me uh, reassure you that this is not what you need to get started with leather working. These are just some tools that we'll be using uh, throughout the videos. We'll probably end up getting some more. Um, we got different kinds of hole cutters. Uh, we got a rotary hole cutter. We'll put that back guy back where he belongs. As we talk about these, we're just going to kind of wipe the board up. And when we're done wiping the board up, what we'll have left is what you actually need to get started. Alright, so we got some uh, riveting tools and some rivets. So we're not going to be using those right off the gate. We'll get rid of those. 
we got a uh, hammer for the riveting. Uh, we're not going to be using that out the gate. Uh, this is uh, different sets of stamps. Uh, these ones are uh, texture stamps. Uh, different kinds of like uh, shading stamps, things like that. Um, we will be using these from the start, but we're not going to be, these aren't part of the you must have these to start leather working kits, so we're going to put these guys away too. Alright, so we got these. Uh, we got here, we got some, uh, these are for thicker uh, threads. And then we have our regular uh, needle threads. So we are going to put these away because we're not going to be using these right away. But we'll talk about that in a minute. You would think that the needles are an integral part and you're not wrong, they are. Uh, we have various templates. So like I said, templates are going to be when we level up, when we get a little bit better at, at what we're doing here. But we got templates for uh, different kinds of keychain styles. Uh, that's part of the keychain styles, so we'll get these all together. Uh, then we got some templates that make up, whoop, let's get over here, some templates that make up different kinds of billfolds. As you can see, this one right here, uh, this was that billfold that I had shown you earlier. Where is it? Uh, so right here, this one, um, it came off of that. We got a couple other ones that make up a wallet, and then... I think that's all we got for templates, so let's get rid of these. We're not going to be using these right away. We're getting rid of a lot of stuff, folks. You're going to be surprised how simple it is to get started with leather working. All right, uh, so these are alphabet stamps and some more texture stamps. Um, also some print stamps. Like I said, we're not going to be using these. We're going to be using these early on, but we're not going to be using them right now. We're going to put those bad boys away as well. All right, uh, leather burning, optional. Uh, you can get stencils like this to help you burn the leather. We'll probably use this early on. Um, also, not a necessity, so we're gonna toss it off to the side. Uh, head knife, this is a leather worker's tool. Should get them down there, get them good, get them good. There we go. All right, so this one's definitely not necessary. So we're gonna put him up. All right, um, hammers. There are different degrees of hammers. So um, starting out, this is actually the one that you keep. Uh, this is a starting out hammer. It comes with the basic leather working kits. Um, this one right here is a bit more of uh, an advanced version of it. It's slightly more expensive. And then this is actually the granddaddy of them all. These are the more expensive ones. They're weighted. Um, they're specific for leather working. Uh, for either stamping um, or any other kind of hard pressing you have to do. Um, talking about the hole punches. Uh, these are used for the hole punches as well. Uh, we will be using hole punches quite a bit, but not right now, so those are out of here. Um, we've already wiped out a lot of stuff, so we said we're going to keep this guy for right now. So you should have a hammer in your basic kit. Everything else is sayonara for now. We don't need it. Um, this is for cutting strips, uh, leather strips, making your own strips. Definitely don't need that right now. As you can see, we're getting really down to it. Um, this one's for drawing lines, uh, stitching lines on your leather also an optional tool at this point right now so we're going to get rid of that uh, edge bevelers for putting edges on your leather again nice to have it's going getting put away uh, this is just a stick for smoothing edges you put a little bit of wax on the end of there so we got our beeswax it goes they go hand in hand uh, the beeswax and then you smooth out the sides of your leather where you cut uh, we will be using this periodically, so we'll keep this with our with our stuff that we need to have. Another need to have tool: an X-Acto knife. Now we had the head knife head knife before. Um, X-Acto knives work just fine starting out. And the last tool that comes with us on our immediate journey is a scratch off. This is for uh, you take the tip off here. 
and you can use it for scratching uh, surfaces. So that'll be the last one that, or that'll be the last tool that we're going to talk about that we put in the keep pile. So we got really just a real small pile of tools here. Um, also, you got to have a cutting board and writing utensils, and a lighter is nice for burning threads as needed. And these we have here are additional uh, ways to create stitching. Uh, they're stitching punches, basically. I don't remember the proper term for them. And you know what? We're going to call them what I call them. So these are sticking, uh, bleh, stitching punches. And this last one here, uh, also not necessary for right now, but this is for making um, designs when you're stamping uh, and drawing on leather. There's uh, actual drawing on leather, and since I suck at drawing, we probably won't do it too often. Um, there's that. We also have uh, different kinds of lights and magnifying glasses so that we can kind of get our surface. So we got our we got our uh, cutting board here. Put all the tools we're gonna have right in front of us, right? So this one is a nice one. It's got the grid measurements on, so you can measure. We got our little wood hammer. We got our scratch all. We got our lighter. We got a pen and a pencil. We got our cutting utensil, we got our scratch all, we got a marker, and we got some beeswax. Now, that is basically your starter kit. Now the reason I say that is because we're going to get into the next thing, and that next thing is your kits. So when you get a kit, and we got a couple of them here, so let's get these into the into the playing field here. And let's see these out. So we got a mini dream catcher kit, uh, we got a knife and sheath kit. We got a wristband kit. These are all ones that we're going to do in subsequent videos. Uh, so we got a wristband kit. We also have a couple of belts. So in these kits, uh, as you can see, this one will tell you what you got to have. Um, optional supplies, optionally, you can leather dye, you can leather sheen, or you can stamp it. So these are just pre cut leather wristbands. Real simple. You just open it up. Uh, you could do nothing to them and you could put them on your wrist and start using them or you can decorate them. Uh, we will be decorating them. Those, These are actually a project that my mom had asked for so we are going to take and uh, one of these is going to have her name on it and the other one I'm not sure yet but we'll figure it out along the way. Um, this is probably one of the most simple kits in terms of what you can do with leather working. Um, these coasters patches like on on hats or something like that you can buy uh, pre-cut patches where you could do engraving get comfortable with stamping and drawing on leather and just start enjoying the hobby uh, the dream catcher uh, has everything you need except for white craft glue so think of like the elmer school glue um, a ruler clothespin and scissors that's it that's all you need for this um, and I do have a scissor somewhere around here. I don't know where it is, but you should have a leather working scissors or at least a, like a crafting scissors. Um, the knife sheath is, again, just a simple set of items. Now, when we talked about like not needing the, the stitch or the uh, needles right away, um, the kits do come with the string and the needle is actually with the kit. Um, these are smaller needles. I prefer the... So these ones that I'm going to grab out and show you, um, it's personal preference. I get these from Main Thread. Um, also where I get my thread from. This is not a pitch to it. If you choose to go there, you choose to go there. I personally just, I found them when I was looking up leatherworking stuff and I enjoyed it. But uh, see this needle is actually quite a bit longer than the ones that they give you. So I got actually a pile of the ones that they give you. Um, the eye hole is a lot bigger which is nice. But the needle is also a lot shorter, which can cause some issues when you're threading or when you're stitching. So, um, you know, try it out with the free ones first. If you want a bigger one, uh, look them up, uh, either Main Thread. Uh, there's other companies that sell the needles as well, like uh, Weaver, Tandy, Leather, um, other places. Um, I'm just labeling off names of ones that I know. I'm not advocating you bring your business to them that's all on you it's up to you what you choose to do but this is 
pretty much like all of you need to all you need to start. You just need some kits, uh, some basic tools, and then you let it rip. Now, obviously, we're gonna be able to do a little bit more because we have more of the tool, more of the advanced tools. But um, you know, if you enjoy the hobby, invest in it. If you don't enjoy the hobby, you're not gonna lose out. Something like this, this Dreamcatcher kit was four forty nine. Uh, the wristband kit, four dollars. So for like five bucks, you can go to the store, uh, Hobby Lobby or any of those hobby stores, or order them online, and you can start leather working. Pretty fancy, isn't it? All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing, as it helps us know when we're doing good and what we could do to do things better. On the channel also uh, this is the start of the adventure so we are going to jump in first our first video is going to be making these wristbands uh, I implore you to hit those noti bells so you can see when these videos come out and be able to watch and grow with me as we start our adventure into leather working stay blessed make sure you're blessing people and growl louder everybody have a great day Thank <laughs> you.